Now, a lot of dogs watch TV, you know, and there's nothing really on that they can enjoy, you know. Maybe a couple of dog food commercials and uh, that's it, you know. So I took it upon myself and I worked up a comedy act for dogs. Now, I know that sounds stupid, but I did the act for my dog and <laughs> he went into hysterics. <laughs> And he went and got some of the neighbor dogs, and I did the act for them. And they were on the floor, rolling with doggy laughter. Now, uh, the, the, the weird thing is, you have to sort of take this into account. If you're a human being, you won't get the jokes. You know, it'll be just like, what? I don't get it. But if you have a dog, call him over, let him sit in front of the TV screen, because I think you're going to see him crack up for the first time. <laughs> I've invited uh, down to the studio some dogs that I can perform to to sort of get the timing down, you know. And, <laughs> and so I don't have to add any can barks later on. So uh, the live audience here, and here we go, my fabulous comedy act for dogs. Here we go. Well, good evening, poodles and collies. <laughs> you know, Bowser and Pato was walking down the street one day, and Bowser spotted this big dish full of dog food. Well, he went over and took a big bite of it, leaned over to Fido and said, this stuff isn't fit for a human. <laughs> oh, I got a million of them. Oh, no. Steve Martin. 
you very much. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I had a terrible case of laryngitis, and I really didn't think that I would be able to come down here tonight and do the show. And I called up Johnny, and I said, I have terrible laryngitis. And Johnny said something to me. He said, Steve, there's a saying in show business. The show must go on. And I said, really? <laughs> I've never really heard that. I'd heard it, sort of a different version. You really don't have to go on unless you feel like it. <laughs> so, I called up Bill Cosby just kind of to confirm this. And he said, yes, there is a saying like that, Steve. And he said, there's another saying. There's no business like show business. And I said, I never heard that. <laughs> I always heard, there are a lot of businesses like show business. <laughs> and he said, no. So I called up Joan Rivers, and she just said, Steve, you're too fat. <laughs> but with this encouragement, I went down to the doctor. He gave me some laryngitis drops, said they could kick in at any moment. Nothing has happened so far, but nothing could stop me from doing the song I had planned. <laughs> Back behind that curtain, you still go. Mm -hmm.